All right, looking at 2.3, permutations and factorials. An arrangement is an ordered list of items. A factorial, and factorial, and with an exclamation mark, is a product of sequential natural numbers with the form n factorial is equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times all the way down till you get to times 1. Now, example 1. You want to evaluate 4 factorial. 4 factorial is equivalent, if you were to write it out, as 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which equals 24. Now, when you calculate this into a calculator, you'll just give me an answer. I just want to show you what it means. Part B. You're asked to calculate 7 factorial over 5 factorial. Let's calculate what this will result in. Well, 7 factorial is 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 5 factorial, which is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. What does that mean? Well, actually, folks, that means that 5s will cancel, 4s will cancel, 3, 2, 1, and same with the denominator, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and what are we left with? That's right, 7 times 6. 7 times 6 is 42. Part C, 8 factorial times 6 factorial over 7 factorial. How do we calculate? Well, we take 8 times, se eight times 6 factorial. Why is it 8 times 6 factorial? I want you to look at this and understand how I simplified this to this. This is 8 factorial. This is 6 factorial. We have 7 factorial underneath. 7 factorial is contained in 8 factorial with 1 left over. So 8 times the 6 factorial which we already had. 8 times 6 factorial is like 8 factorial divided by 7 or 8 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 which results in 5,760 as our final answer. So this should be pretty straightforward. Moving forwards. When an arrangement of items needs to appear in order, it is called a permutation. The total number of these permutations is written as NPN, or PNN, which equals N factorial. Example 2. A half-hour TV show has 8 30-second advertisement time slots. In how many ways could the eight advertisements be assigned a time? Well, we have basically, the answer will be eight factorial. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. Eight factorial, which will turn out to 40,320. Now, let's understand why. You have eight slots, all right? Eight slots, and each one can have up to... Uh, you have eight slots of 30 second time commercial. So basically, we have eight shows with eight time slots, 8P8. 8P8 means 40,320. You can use it in your calculator. You have that particular button on your calculator. So you would answer with a therefore statement, folks. And if you wanted to understand further, let's let's count this as the eight time slots. We have eight commercials to choose in the first time slot, seven commercials to choose in the six, seventh time slot, six commercials to choose, five, four, three, two, one. And we take the product of all of these and we get 40,320 as our answer. Moving forwards. <coughs> The number of permutations of R items from a collection of N items is NPR, which means I take N factorial, okay, N factorial over N minus R factorial, and that's how you calculate it. So what it is, is it's N times N minus 1 times N minus 2 times N minus R plus 1. That's the last one we'll stop at. Easier way to calculate is using this expression to calculate the values we need. 
So, you need to check and see if your calculator has this function. It's an important function to have on your calculator. And it's important to understand how to use it. NPR is a great, quick way to get the answer that we're looking for. 40 athletes are entered in a triathlon. Medals are presented to the top three finishers. In how many ways could the gold, silver, and bronze medals be awarded? Now, don't forget there's 40 athletes. So how many athletes have the potential of getting gold? How many have the potential of getting silver? And one, how many have the potential of getting bronze? Well, we have 40 for the gold. 40 possible athletes to achieve gold. Once gold is attained, we have the remaining number of athletes, 39, that could potentially receive silver. Once that's gone, we have 38 potentials to receive bronze. So what we'll do with those numbers is multiply them. Now, another way to get this answer <coughs> is by using NPR. We have 40 factorial over 40 minus 3. So 40 uh, and 40 PR, 40 P3 is what we're looking for. 40 possible uh, athletes, choose three of them. So when we calculate this, this will also end up with 59,280. 40 choose three. Okay, so either way, whether we use the, the straightforward math to calculate it, the formula, factorial formula way to calculate it, or we use the permutation way, we should be able to express this in different ways. Sometimes you may encounter permutations with restrictions. Now, permutations with restrictions is an example of when you must use something called the fundamental counting principle that we've done before, or the multiplicative principle from yesterday. So we looked at this yesterday. Example number four, a librarian wants to display 10 books by Canadian authors on a bookshelf. There are three Joseph Boyden books, and the rest are by different authors. In how many ways could he arrange the books, the librarian could arrange the books, if the Joseph Boyden books must remain side by side? So understanding this problem requires you to do a little bit of work. So let's look at the example here. First of all, we have eight possible places to put the book. We have ten books, but eight different places to put it. Now, the key here is that we need to arrange three of those Joseph Boyden books. Three of them. Okay, so we have eight factorial. Three factorial. Now, why is it eight and three? Okay, so I need you to understand it's not eight. So we need ten books side by side laid out. So there's actually, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What I want to do now is take three of these slots and put them together. So these three slots are going to be the Joseph Boyden. So I can arrange them in any way that I want, also known as three factorial. That's your three factorial right here. Now, the remaining eight book, or sorry, seven books, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, can be any of the other seven books. With the knowledge that these three can be anywhere, I could do it here. Or if I want to, I could erase all those, that highlighter right there, folks. And I could have put these, those three that I just mentioned now, I could have put them in this slot. Or I could have put those three in possibly this slot. So the idea here is I could put the three anywhere that I want. So essentially, that clump of three books has its own slot. So one more time, we're going to take the three 
and that counts folks as one giant slot and then we have two three four five six seven eight so we have eight combinations eight factorial that's the eight different positions that place that the books could be in and then we also have the joseph boyden books which have a specific factorial of three factorial so we take eight factorial times three factorial to find out that we have a number of 300, sorry about that folks, one second. Okay, so we have eight factorial times three factorial is going to equal 241,920. Because again, remember that the three books are in these slots. That counts as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because remember, I can put these three books anywhere I want in this slot. In this slot, or they can go in any three that I can circle. All right, well, I hope this helps uh, and you're able to complete the homework. Have a numerical day.